no wonder they look familiar. Because in my last playthrough, I stopped right here on Chapter 3 of Act 2. I didn't continue because, like I said before in one of my videos, I or it was in, in the first video, revisiting Forge the Fight, I did say that I had school and all that stuff, so that's why I never, like, continued with the videos. But today, we are going to get past this chapter so i can see where the story goes into with chapter four it has to happen because it didn't go past this part wow that's crazy but we're gonna reread this stuff anyways let's do it um seismic surveillance readings reveal that the quintessons are reinforcing their defenses seismic readings that suggest something of large proportions Teletran indicates they are sending scouting parties loaded with Dark Energon in a desperate attempt to stop us from getting closer to them. They already got Mirage, who is now in the med bay. Who do we still have in the area? We should order them all back to base. No one on duty rotation at the moment, but I have concerns that one of our bots with a scope and a grudge may be in the danger zone. Ooh. RC. Her tracker was turned off a few nano cycles ago. Scrap it. Commander, you'll need to go look for her, but be careful. Okay, so RC is the boss. Um, makes sense. And of course, we are going down the easy path because my bots are not strong enough to fight, you know, <laughs> with those four stars. Not yet, anyways. I wonder if I unlock the four star shop if I get to chapter four. That's just a. I don't. Yeah, I don't think I've ever unlocked a four-star shop in this version of the game. I don't remember. Now I really have to look back at, like, the old footage that I recorded for this version um, a year ago and see where my roster was. I don't think it was... Maybe it was better? Who knows? Maybe it was better than where, where I have my roster currently right now. Um, and yes, it's been a week since the last episode, and... As you can see, nothing has really changed. Again, I think right now I'm taking like a slow pace with this game because I don't want to get burnt out. I think that's the last thing that I want is to feel burnout for a game that I actually enjoy playing. And yeah, not a good thing. So I can take out my time as much as I can because there's really no point of rushing. And also, I want to make this series you know, just fun. So, if I'm not having fun playing the game, then what's the point of recording these videos? That's the last thing that I would want to have going on through my mind. So, yeah. Because that's exactly what happened in the period before. Like, now thinking about it, I remembered why I had burnout. It was just the fact that I try to motivate myself to play the game too much, and but, but but also, I think most of you understand that during that period when Kabam was still controlling this game, when, yeah, when you don't add new things to the game, you're not gonna have the motivation to play, so. And luckily I haven't felt that anymore in a while, because I think it was not that long ago that even the game that I actively play all the time, and it has content updates consistently, I also got burnt out from the game because um, sometimes farming is just a pain. Uh, so if you ever played a game called Fake Grand Order or ever heard of it, I play that game actively. And I'm not going to lie, I do spend money in that game um, once in a while. But that's what I meant by my uh, gotcha game addiction. Now, I, I, I'm not like a whale or anything, I don't go to that those levels of like, you know, <laughs> degeneracy when it comes to spending money on uh, 2D waifus. I don't go there, like, that far, but yeah, a game like Figure and Order, when they do have events where you have to farm and stuff, there was one event that I didn't farm, and it was because I finally faced Burnout, and I was able to do the the event again when it came back, but that's exactly what I do not want to do in this game, is even though this game doesn't have new content, 
there's a reason why I came back to revisit this game is to go through the story quests because the story in this game might be completely different from the original version. It already looks different because the story and plot for certain things are not the same that I remember it to be. And yeah. So I had to come back. And also, I owe you guys, you know, all of that because I think a lot of you guys subscribe to my channel because of this game. And it only makes sense that we have to do one last coverage of this game before I say goodbye to it, right? Like a permanent goodbye. That's that's the whole point of the series, is to say a permanent goodbye to the game that I love the most. And, you know, I feel like that last episode, whenever we hit that last episode for this series, it's probably going to be an emotional one. I don't know if I'll... Yeah, it'll definitely be emotional, because... I don't want to say goodbye to a game that I enjoy, but that's exactly the problem, is when you don't add new things, uh, how do I stick around? I mean, I can stick around all the time, but especially with the way that this game is, like, uh, structured now, where you have to pay, like, you know, actual money every month for your Netflix account, like, you're not just using this Netflix account for, um... A game right <laughs> logically but I am using my Netflix account for just this game because I don't even use Netflix at all for anything so um, I chose the lowest tier just so I can play this game that's the reason why I'm doing these videos again because I was th I thought about like you know what I don't mind paying six seven dollars a month to play this game I'll do it for something I love, and that's exactly why we're here, so. Because I've always had an idea of doing like a, kind of like a send-off series. I think even a year ago, like, some of these ideas of like, making these type of videos, they've been in the back part of my mind for a while, it's just that I never got the time to do it back then because school and other things happening, but here we are, we are finally, you know, I don't even know what episode this is going to be. Uh, episode 7, I believe? I already forgot the episode numbers. So, I apologize about that. But, yeah. And I apologize if these videos are longer. But I think it's okay. So. Commander, Intellitran reports back that there isn't a hill or... Wait, what? Hold on. Let me read this. I'm sorry. Commander, Intellitran reports back that there isn't a hill or hiding spot in the area with sign of RC. Why would I be hiding from you? Oh, oh, geez, that energy corruption is getting bad, isn't it? Was waiting for a target, fog rolled in, mine went foggy with it, targets everywhere, everyone a target. Commander, there's no running away from this one. RC will just hit you from a distance. Get in close and shut this down now. Okay, let's do that. But yeah, that's exactly why I revisited this game, is because I really needed to give it like some sort of conclusion, and the best way to do it is to just play through the story mode. Um, now, I'm not gonna like get to Act 3 and just be like, oh, time to do all of Act 3, like, no. My goal is to not just cover the story mode, but I also want 100% at every single thing in this game when it comes to the story mode alone. Of course, I'm not going to 100% like other content that exists in this game, uh, like alliances or raids, because you, there's no, you know, you don't 100% those. But in terms of like the story quests, like the act, I do want 100% at like completion and exploration. And that will make it so fulfilling for me, where it's like, I feel like I've done everything I have to do, and now it's time to move on to maybe another Transformer game. <laughs> um, so, that is basically the goal of the series. And finally, we are here on the episode titled Civil Obedience. Commander, our analysis of the Quintesson Journal divulged a rift in their faction. Divulge a rift in their faction is occurring. Okay. The scientist is under fire by the judges on their council, and he has doubts about their plans working. This may be an opening we can exploit. 
one of their side is one more on ours. But first, we will need to get our own team back in order. Who has gone rogue now? I thought everyone was called back in. We had someone out in unannounced radio silent, silent patrol of the area. Oh, on an unannounced radio silent patrol of the area, they were trying to maintain law and order. I'm so bad at reading dialogue, what the heck? In this wasteland, law and order are low priorities. I settled for base level reasoning and moderate quiet myself. We'll try telling we'll try telling that to Prowl if and when you find him. Oh. Okay, so Prowl has basically gone rogue. Alright. It's funny, it's like I'm an English major and I can't even read simple dialogue. Oh no. Uh, it's so funny. Um, that's another figure that I would probably want. A Prowl figure. I don't own any Prowl figures. Uh, not even the TF animated one that they recently remade in the Legacy line. I don't even have that one. Um, honestly, though, that was the era of TF toys uh, that I missed the most. I never bought any... Well, no, I can't say I didn't buy any. I only had one Transformer animated series figure. It was a uh, deluxe class, like Optimus Prime. Uh, he was in the form that he was in. So his alt mode is basically what he was uh, transforming into before he arrived on Earth. But that, like, leader class figure they made of him back then, and... Just in general, like, so much of the Transformer animated toys were probably some of the best um, figures that came out in that time period for that series. And I wish I can go back to that uh, time just to, you know, get those uh, figures and still have them in the shelf. But of course, that's like a fever dream that'll never happen. And even though the Legacy line, they're like remaking them. One thing I'm not a fan of is the fact that they're not exactly the same style of how they were remade. Or how they were made back then, I mean, not remade. Um, so, that's kind of the one downside to these remakes, is that they do look like them, but... The problem is, the style and design elements that they used on those figures back in the day were very stylized. And... Even for, like, a line that's supposed to celebrate, like, everything in Transformers, I wish they did use or try to incorporate some of those older elements. But, of course, I understand making new molds, like, just for, like, these few figures is, is expensive. And on top of that, having to try to, like, copy that figure from back then is just not... You know, it's kind of pointless, especially if they're only making like a few of them and then they're not doing any more of them. So, um, for example, if you saw like that, uh, uh, uh what, what's his name? Um, Vector Prime from the Cybertron series. They remade him into a Voyager class recently as well. He's already out there, you can buy him. But he's a good example of how you can spot like the differences between the new one and the old one. And, there's a, not only is the size different, because I, like I said, Voyagers have gotten smaller, but that old one is like taller too. And I feel like that old one has stuff more detail than the new one. But that's exactly the thing with a lot of those older Transformer toys that I grew up with, that even for the ones I don't have, if you compare those old ones to some of these newer ones, some of these remakes, they're better, but some of them are like, Kind of like wow they can't top the old one the old one is just better in general and everything so i mean if you had to compare like for example like the war for cybertron optimus prime from the video game of course their new one is cooler right the new one looks more accurate but the old one still has like this really cool sort of thing to it that i still enjoy even if it wasn't a voyager class it was still a fun deluxe class to have so um, yeah, that's just my opinion on, like, Transformers toys as of now. Um, I guess every episode we do bring up toys for some reason. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's just... I 
I wish I can go back and relive that TF anime series or because there's nothing like that period that I don't know something about TF animated was so unique it was such a different take on Transformers and honestly it was such a good refresher too because as much as I like enjoyed Armada and also I believe I think there was one called Energon right Energon was the sequel yes and then after they made Cybertron as much as I love that whole um, anime era that they had with Transformers because those shows I believe were very anime looking the animated series was so different that it wasn't even like it was literally a cartoon right like a straight up American style cartoon but the way that they designed those characters was also like interesting too because their shapes and their the way they stand the way they you know look I, don't, I wish we can see something like that again um, that's why Armada, or not Armada, I mean, uh, not Armada, I mean Animated, it would have been cool if there was like another season of like Animated uh, after like that last season, because if you've seen like people post like on Transformer community stuff, or community areas where they like to just talk about Transformers in general, there are people that have talked about how like, just imagine like what, it, these are like what ifs, like these are fan arts, and I see these fan arts all the time. And I really respect that people make these. It's really like the what if we had another um, sort of a season of Transformer animated. And I'm like, maybe in a different world, man. Maybe in some other freaking multiverse where we exist. Maybe that is real. Um, it's just like the Avengers Earth Mightiest Hero cartoon, right? They had like, a, I don't know if they're official. I don't remember if they were. Maybe they are. But the showrunners had more ideas for like another season of that show and right now with like everything that's just been happening with like marvel right like some sh like they're bringing back daredevil right in a tv show i don't remember what was the recent thing they brought back with oh x-men x-men 97 right which which is like a basically like a continuation to the original x-men 92 93 era of like cartoons i'm like if you can bring a show back like that like at this point could you bring back Earth's Mightiest Hero? <laughs> like, just bring that show back. Call the showrunners, get them to come back with whatever they were, like, cooking, like, back then, and just be like, hey, make another season. Because it's so smart if they did that, because, it, one, it would be good for business, right? I mean, it's all about business in the end of the day for most of these companies. Um, okay, before I continue that. You there, freeze. Unauthorized access is to be reported back to Quintessons. All hail the Quintessons. Well, the answer is... The... <laughs> Again, I'm so bad at reading dialogue. I, I'm sorry. Well, that answers the has prowl been corrupted question. Okay. Resistance is futile and will result in a fine and detainment. Oh. Commander, despite what he's saying, I recommend resisting. Aggressively resistance if possible, in fact. Planning on an assault as well. The list of charges is adding up quickly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so... I don't know. If they could bring back, like, X-Men 97, or well, X-Men the Animated Series, and call it X-Men 97 now, right? They could bring back Avengers or Earth's Mightiest Hero. I mean, it wouldn't hurt them, right? In fact, it'll probably make it even better, because... Honestly, like, when it comes to, like, cartoon shows for Avengers... That is still one of my favorite shows. I mean, there was also, uh, what was the other one? It was also like Marvel. It was also Marvel. What are they called? The superhero show or something? I don't remember the title. <laughs> Excuse me. All I can, all I remember about that show was that, uh, okay, here's the description of what the characters look like. They had a very chibi looking style to them. Like they were like, if you know what, like, characters look like if you draw them in, like, a chibi form, just picture that, but with Marvel characters. That was what that show looks like to me. Um, it's kind of like a... What's another good example? It's kind of like those, um... Okay, give me a minute. I I'm trying to remember what they were. Let me just read this first, and then I'll, I'll say it. Um, I must share bad news. In the confusion of calling our team back to HQ, someone breached our perimeter and stole a relic we were researching. 
What kind of research? Why weren't the commander and I informed of new intel? We were trying to keep it off comms for safety. It was an ancient Quintesson artifact that had, frankly, a lot of dark energy on it. Nasty stuff. I'm reviewing the comm logs, scams, and checkpoints, and I have some very bad news about our intruder. Oh, that's right. In my other playthrough, I never, we never actually seen him in the story, did we? Did they also raid the fridge because someone has been stealing my underground goodies despite them being clearly labeled? It's not a time for jokes, Wheeljack. Megatron has that relic you were looking at. Megatron and Dark Energon? That's a mix that'll make anyone lose their appetite. It gets odder. He didn't leave the base. He's just standing at the gates. It's like he's waiting for something. Commander, proceed with caution. Okay, so... What I was thinking about was the fact that there were these Star War toys that they made. They were very cartoony looking. Um, they don't have articulation, but they were like tiny. And that's kind of like what those uh, Marvel characters look like in that TV show. I forgot the name of it though. It's I'm so bad at remembering names sometimes. But honestly, this show, I remember watching it as well. And it was, it was a pretty fun show. But... If I had to pick between one of these shows to come back, it would definitely be Earth's Mightiest Hero, okay? Because that one was more of like a... You can call that show more of a comedy sort of style show where it was very funny. Like, there were funny stuff, and of course there were serious moments, but it was more on the humor compared to Earth's Mightiest Hero where it mixed humor, but it also had a lot of serious undertone in it too with certain episodes. So... Yeah, that's something that I wish, um, I don't know, Disney looked into because it would be cool to see if other shows got, like, you know, I'm, just, I'm not even asking for, for like, multiple seasons. I'm just saying that they just came back with one season, right? Like, if Clone Wars was able to come back with the final season, I mean, literally any of these projects could have had one, one more season to pretty much like wrap it up in my opinion um, but there are some shows that I feel like were incomplete or the endings were rushed and I, I just think that that was not a good way to just like end it so but of course these are sorts of concerns that I don't know probably in Disney's eyes they like they don't really care because <laughs> if, if, if they think it's not financial for them like financially uh, you know, what do you call it, uh, successful for them, then maybe that's why they will never bring it back. And that's, maybe that's why it got cancelled? I don't really know what got that show cancelled, and why they never had another season after season two. So, it could have been the finances, like, maybe it wasn't doing good in viewership, but anything's likely, right? I mean, if you think about it, Netflix cancels a lot of their shows that they make sometimes where they just put out one season and then that's it. <laughs> so, Okay, we are actually getting to the end of Chapter 3, and this is kind of crazy because I did not get past Chapter 3 in my last playthrough. It's actually shocking. I thought I did. I thought I actually like got to the end of Act 2. But maybe, see, my memories don't serve me right because that's what happens. So you try to think you you thought that you you got somewhere, but you didn't. <laughs> wow, and that's right. Megatron hasn't even appeared in this game. I mean, you can buy him in the shop, but like in the story, he's not actually even in the dialogues. I'm kind of surprised that he's not there. Well, now he's gonna be there, finally. The one other character that makes up the Transformer franchise, you know, the leader of the other faction. I'm surprised we went out with, like, Act 1, and now he's showing up at the end of Act 2. Yeah, because in the original version, the first, like, um, I think the boss of Act 2, if I remember correctly, was not this Megatron. It was, like, a four-star uh, movie Megatron. And, by the way... I re-watched that video I made a long time ago, just out of curiosity, like, how I, how it was, <laughs> you know, for nostalgia. Um, I did not expect that video to get a lot of 
like 2,000 views over the course of like, I don't know how many years it took for that to happen. That is insane. Um, but that is also something I'm grateful for because it just shows how much people still love this game. And I'm glad to be part of this like uh, community in some form, even if it's very tiny, tiny little, uh, you know, contribution. I'm still glad that I made videos for this game, even if I didn't speak in them, because again, it was a game that I enjoyed, and I will keep on cherishing this game for the rest of my life, even if it no longer exists one day. If one, if one day Netflix decides to pull the cord on all these app games that they own, um, at least I still have this footage to look back on and remember that I was part of it. It's crazy. Wow, okay, this is actually, I don't even, I don't know if I read this dialogue before. Maybe I did read this. I'm like trying to remember if I got here or not. Megatron, whatever your plan with that relic is, I suggest you abandon it now. It represents too great a danger. I have seen this dark energon be fumbled by the Quintessons. Seen it turn friend to foe. Been witness to its power. This is not power you can control. It is chaos and pain. And who am I to believe the words of a pathetic prime or the voice from within this world telling me that it is mine to rule? Whoever you're hearing isn't giving you good advice. If you want voices in your head, I know a few relaxing Earth podcasts you can download. Silence! My mind is made up and my path is clear. First I destroy any in my way, then I rule those who remain. Well, and we're using a Decepticon against... Megatron. Um, maybe I did record this part. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh god. Oh no. Oh no. I f well, I fought him many times, but story-wise, I guess, yeah, maybe I did record this part and he was in it. Now I gotta actually look back at that last playthrough. So, maybe I did get to the end of Chapter 3 and I just never continued. Oh. Oh my god, he's aggressive! Why? Why today? Come on, come on, come on. Oh no. Oh, stay away. Stay away from me. Stay away from me with that unstoppable. Yo, when he can- Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now I'm now I'm fumbling really bad against this Megatron. Oh. Alright, this should, this should put an end. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright. That is that so basically i think what happened here is in my last playthrough i got to the end of chapter three and then that was it yes because i have never recorded any gameplay for 30 tactics dark mastery great big problem pledge to server connections and divergence i do not think i have any of that on my channel so wow okay i'm gonna have to save this for a longer video like, maybe the next episode for sure. Guaranteed, we're going to go through all of Chapter 4's story for Act 2. Like, I just have to. Because I, I've never played through Chapter 4. So, hopefully I make a little bit of progress by then with my ro- Excuse me. With my roster. And, yeah, hopefully. Don't think it- I don't think I will. <laughs> but, okay. Um, with that said, if you enjoyed today's episode and you found it fun and enjoyable, give this video a like. If you want to subscribe to my channel for or to fight content or maybe my figure review content, if you're into action figures, you can do that too. You don't have to. And with that said, take care and I will see you in the next video.